Hey, oh my planet zoo friends. Zoo friends. <laughs> zoo friends. <laughs> Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixor. Hey, oh. And welcome back to another episode of Zoo Spotlight Competition Contest Edition. Co yeah, Planet Zoo Spotlight's Contest Edition. Today we have <laughs> uh, three creations for our Discord Zoo Contest to show off. So stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, well, welcome back everybody. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you end up enjoying the video, leave a like. Uh, come join us on Discord. We have a Planet Zoo section in Discord now, and that is how we hosted this contest that we're getting into. So to give uh, everybody a quick summary on how this is going, uh, we posted a contest and essentially we wanted to get as many up to five people creating each different animal. And so far we have about 14 different completed uh, sections and 10 more being worked on as we speak. So if you actually get into Discord now, there's still a chance that you can participate in this next batch of submissions. So today we are featuring uh, the grizzly bear and three different creators in three different categories. And you guys are going to be able to vote on your favorite creation with YouTube Holes, and then we take all the best, the winners of every single video, and we're going to pair them up and have a little finale contest where we somehow, uh, I don't know how we're going to do it yet, but maybe we pair all the, the bears together, pair all the uh, lions or, you know, all the cats together, and we'll try to come up with some sort of way, or we'll just come up with a top 10, the highest, we'll get everyone to vote on their favorite ones, and we'll just pull out the top 10 and all 10 people will get prizes. So prizes will be had, and uh, we will check out all these various different animals over the coming month or two. Very fun stuff. Uh, did I miss anything, Zell? No, I don't think so. All <laughs> right, so with that said, let's jump into the first creation of the day. Grizzly Falls, created by Amora, one of our Discord advanced builders and Ruby patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Amora. And here they say, a habitat I made as a dedication to the beloved Zeus and Hera. Two of the original grizzly bears of the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, they passed away of an old age Age after many years of bringing delight to their admirers here in planet zoo they shall live for eternity along with their new cub athena this habitat is a mixture of realism and just being creative i hope you enjoy it bam nice. all right let's dive on into it so uh just to give people an idea of the parameters these were uh our habitat contests so everybody had to create a habitat but in a little mini park setting now we would have done this in blueprint mode but the blueprinting of habitats is a little Little bit funky right now it doesn't save anything on the exterior uh, there are workarounds but we decided to just not deal with all that and uh, do mini parks so now people are submitting their park files so that's what we have here today is a, a, a habitat and some building exterior so we have a beautiful viewing area here yeah. a moat. little pit a moat uh, there's no wall there though the bears will jump down there uh, ah, fine. I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, an upper viewing area. So this is definitely something to keep in mind when you guys you guys are judging this. You got to vote on your favorite creation at the end of the video. I'll have a pop up come up, and uh, you know what makes a habitat good? Uh, really good viewing, right? Mm -hmm. And some ex like some buildings made into it. Some nice walkways. All your uh, information boards, donation bins, how decorative is it on the outside for the guests, how welcoming is it, and how much can they actually view, right? Yeah. And if you guys want, yeah. there'll be links down in the description for these. And if you do come in here and you draw a null barrier around this whole thing, you can put this into your uh, zoos. So keep yeah. that in mind. It's so funny how they don't really go up into the viewing. They almost... I had that issue with my hippos. Yeah. Mm. Kind of sucks, It's eh? almost like they, like they should have a viewing point from, like, Planet Coaster. Yeah. Oh. What's that thing called? <clears throat> uh, oh, the... Entertainment um, point? Entertainment point, but there's also the vi yeah. Vista points. Vista point, that one, yeah. I love the waterfalls. Um, yeah. How you can fake it in this game. The water mm, looks yeah, amazing. Really good. Yeah. I like what you did with the, uh... 
plants and bridges. And mm hmm. Water. Now, this is something that's new to me. When I, I did a uh, grizzly bear a few times in my zoos back in the beta, I did not realize that they liked the climbing boards. I thought that was for like monkeys and stuff. <laughs> well, maybe. Yeah, why not? Yeah. D did you know that? No, no idea. I've only been messing around with the uh, pea files. <laughs> Just pea files. <laughs> <laughs> Here's uh, freaking 50 different animals. I chose pea fowls. I <laughs> guess no one wants to do it. It's amazing. <laughs> so one thing that's interesting about this exhibit is that oh, it's, it's only one direction. So, mm -hmm. I mean, well, I think that's fine, but it is it would be nice to have like uh, it integrated a little bit more. But I guess that's where all the staff management is. So we have, that's one thing I appreciate and I think should be considered in your voting is how well these staff management buildings are integrated because that yeah. was one of the things I said, um, you know, you didn't have to do it, but it is optional. And I think having this in your zoo, it would have the staff. So anyone who took the time to integrate staff management buildings into the back uh, definitely gets the bonus points. Now, what I well, you, want to look for, them. yes, here, this underground path, uh, this this tunnel stuff, I really like this. And yeah, you need a doorway to get to feed them. So yeah, you do mm. need them. You so, need them anyway. Yeah, yeah at least the uh, the keeper hut at the very mm. minimum, right? So that they can tend yeah. to the grizzly bears. So, uh, very cool on here. I like the um, overhead viewing. I think that's the, the, the main feature point. Mm. Only thing I would do is, I, I guess, make it a little bit... Uh, I mean, it's just called Grizz Grizzly Falls, but it doesn't have that Grizzly Falls welcoming sign. So, you know, it would be nice to see, like, some uh, waterfalls out front and say Grizzly Falls will welcome you in. Or a custom sign. Yeah, yeah a custom sign. And I would just, like, nitpicky, but I would have put in a little bit more support. Supports? Yeah, this building's yeah. being held up by a log. <laughs> That's a good point. It's... <laughs> and some bridges. Yeah. It's being held up by the bridges. <laughs> That's the only thing I would just... No, it's a very add. good point. I didn't even notice that yeah. until you said something. <laughs> yeah, that was the first thing I saw. Yeah, it's well, structurally, probably not. Yeah, we're gonna crush oh, yeah. those grizzlies. <laughs> Uh, imagine if this ran off, no, went out to like a garial hut, they swim through the sewers. <laughs> Su <laughs> sewer do shocks. It. Just make a null barrier there. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh. Alright, so that's the uh, first Planet Zoo exhibit, uh, or habitat creation by Amora. Really good stuff. We have two more to check out in this episode here today, guys. So let's move on to the next creation, shall we? Grizzly Bear Habitat, created by Steven, one of our Discord builders. And here they say, hey there, Jotty. I started creating this habitat just to test out the controls, but when I announced at the habitat competition, I knew I just had to submit this. This is the Grizzly Bear Habitat built in the North American temperate taiga biomes. This took me about two weeks to construct since I was new at the game and was still learning the ropes. The habitat included all the enrichments enrichments the bears could ever dream of, along with a small obstacle course that the bears actually do climb. Feel free to look around as much as you want, uh, but I warn you, since the habitat challenge, I didn't really decorate the buildings that much. I just put a shell around it to make it look decent from a distance. Enjoy. Oh, by the way, the workshop wasn't letting me add more photos, which is really weird. I'll update it when I figure it out. That's okay. That's fine. All right. So look at this nice little mini park. It's uh, just engulfed with trees. But yeah. from the ground level, it should be pretty immersive. Yeah. But this is what I like to yeah, see, the little mini park area. I like this uh, This little area. It looks pretty cool. We have yeah. some food courts, and that is totally allowed. So you get bonus points for me there. L losing points for that. <laughs> <laughs> bonus points removed. <laughs> Plus minus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a DKP minor. <laughs> yeah, the buildings are a bit plain, yeah. But that's but, fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's something. You got the whole staff management area back here. Yeah. So we could see the uh, enclosure going around there. Well, it's about the habitat. Right. It's all but, it's all I about mean... the habitat. So let's uh, take a look at this habitat. I want to start with the uh, viewing area, the, the main viewing area, I should say. So That's here nice. we go. Yeah. Are there bears in there? I hope. 
Uh, the one downside to the grizzly bears is that you can only have a male, a female, and a cub before they start yeah. killing each other. Yeah, I'd like this walkway. Yeah, I like the whole building here with the, like the straw tops. It's cool. Yeah, they're like be weird. Mm hmm. Okay. And here's the upper viewing. It's very um, natural. Yeah. For sure. Right. I feel like the trees need a little bit of paint and uh, shrubbery around mm. them. You know, they yeah, just and grind straight terrain. over the grass. Looks a little strange. The rain needs some uh, painting. Yeah. It, yeah. For sure. Some and this, different... this game has that like 3D uh, grass paint and it could yeah. just use that like extra long grass around some of the tr tree mm. trunks and stuff. Yeah. It's feeling a little bit bland there. Yeah, a bit of dirt and a bit of stuff like towards the water. I don't know if there's anything there. So we have another viewing area going around here. So this is one thing I want to keep an eye on, like uh, how many viewing areas there actually are. So at the last one, we basically saw an upper and a lower, but it was all one uh, side facing. Here we have a, mm -hmm. a, an upper, a lower on one side, but we also have this viewing area on this side. Are there and any another. more? Yeah, on the right. See, this feels like a lot of wasted space. The guests don't get to appreciate that, but I guess it's a place for the bears to go hide out. Oh, it's the, where their cave is. So oh. it's, that would have been a good opportunity to actually bring this underground right here. You know what I mean? So the, there should be a pathway here that gives you um, a single sided glass underground viewing yeah. for their sleeping area. Right? They could view it right here, you know, a little mm. panel there. That would have been a yeah. perfect opportunity because we don't have a whole lot going on on this side. And the guests are kind of walking around this thing going, where do I view these grizzly bears? Right. <laughs> Like, <laughs> and and then here's our next spot. Well, here we go. Bonus points again. Underwater viewing. Water. That's nice. Yeah. Like the creativity there. Oh, you did it there along the banks. Some different colors. Yep. Yep. The good painting there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they. He said the obstacle course again. So we sec uh, second obstacle course in a row. I did not know this was a thing, and everyone else. Apparently new. <laughs> me. <laughs> I, I want to see them use it. Do they actually use it here? Okay. In a jump cut. In a jump cut? Oh, I'm not gonna sit here. And wait, should I? <laughs> no. <laughs> nee, 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 oh, nee. Wow. What is that? They have to knock it out. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh. Uh, okay. It's there. <laughs> see, if there was viewing there, they would have been facing. Yeah. Uh. Both sitting, at, looking at the rock. Well, they're all going to bed. They don't feel like going on the jungle gym today. Uh, well, maybe the next one. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the uh, interior decorating is nice. It could just use a little, like, you did it here. A little bit of decorating around some of the trees. Looks like you ran out of steam there. Um, but it has a jungle gym, underground viewing, overhead viewing. So it has a lot of the elements. I just feel like it's a little bit too big of an enclosure for the three mm -hmm. grizzly bears with not enough viewing. That's my feedback. But in terms of a mini park area, I like the food court integration. I like the uh, back yeah. uh, staff facility areas. Uh, yeah, my, my, my favorite part of this is definitely the underwater viewing. I think if you would have added a cave viewing there and just kind of tied it together a little bit more with some final polish and paint in here, that, that would bring it up to uh, bring it up to a good quality where it needs to be. Yeah. They're still not going There's on trees. the trees. Yeah, there's food in there as well. Yeah. All right. Very good creation from Steven. I don't reckon it's his name. So uh, welcome to the show, Steven. Like, look forward to see what you create for us next. And let's go check out the last habitat of the day. Grizzly View created by one of our Discord legend builders, Floss. And here she says, Grizzly Bear Habitat with three viewing areas, the main lodge, which overlooks the most of the habitat and a gift shop and education, the cubbing den, which looks into the bear's bedroom and the watering hole where the guests can watch the bears swim. There is a few staff facilities, staff room, workshop keepers, hut and vet all underground i built it with a sandbox settings power always on water always clean so there isn't enough there isn't enough power or water filters without them also i cheated as i built during the beta it was a massive pain moving it into another map if i made a new one it would have been exactly the same anyways all right don't vote for floss she's a cheater cheater, yeah, cheater. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine <laughs> All right, let's take a closer look at this, shall we, Zell? Yeah, I, let's I, do it. I got a fun little Easter egg 
that we're probably because okay i'm assuming that the 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 game is going to try to do the same things because i had to come in here and get the b-roll and mm -hmm. i'm hoping the ai tries to do what it did when i was getting the b-roll because it is the funniest thing ever <laughs> and if it doesn't happen i'll have to clip it in or show it at the end uh we'll talk about it near in a second let's first of all go to the entrance of this creation and uh check it out so this is floss's creation one of our moderators uh, can expect only the best from her, and this is already looking yeah. amazing. You guys the are up water. against it. A legend. <laughs> the, the watering hole. The grizzly view. See? It doesn't take much. It's just pre-made letters and a pre-made thing, and it makes it mm. so much better, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, any zoo has, like, so much information. She Where said... Where to go, what's there. Underground what? staffing, and I really want to check that out. You know what I noticed with Planet Zoo? The WASD keys, they don't go in the direction that your camera's facing. They Q and E. Well, no, that and Q and E goes up and down Planet Coaster. But if I push forward in Planet Coaster, it does. It goes forward and down. It goes like this towards my cameras. Yeah, okay. Which is, yeah. it's actually more useful for panning cameras and stuff. It. it yeah. So the underground staffing's here, and then they get in through here. Very cool. Ooh, that looks nice already. I love that. Look at the lodge. Yeah, the lodge, the, the garden work, trunk. the trunks. Yeah. yeah, this is exactly what I'm hoping to see with the grizzly bears. Because there's not a lot, like I said, there's <laughs> there's not a lot of animals in the den. So you got to get really creative with the exterior, you know? Yeah. And this is wonderful. Nice. Watch out! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there they are there. Uh, look at that. Beautiful I views. Guess. This yeah. is really nice, Floss. Really well done. And they even let a little shop in here. I love it. Okay, there's there's more though. There's the watering hole. Let's go check the watering hole out. The one. Already pee? <laughs> yeah, this is the bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, underwater uh, viewing. The watering hole. Makes sense. Come on. Come have a swim. <laughs> They're not going to do anything. They never do anything. No. no one... <laughs> What's the point of even looking at these guys? <laughs> Stop recording. They <laughs> get crazy. Uh, and there's another one over here. I love how, like, spacious this is and spread out, you know? It gives you a lot to move around to, the cubbing den. Look at this. And this is where they sleep. So, Ooh, nice. there you go. Nailed my request there, like I said with the last creation. Uh, underground viewing for the sleeping area? Nailed it. Mm. Underwater viewing? Nailed it. Overhead viewing? Nailed it. What more could you ask for? Look at the. A, go back to the a building. pathway leading you in, so the bears can eat you. <laughs> like the the side, the rocks. Oh, here. Leading up to the, the lodge, like with all the moss. Oh, this. It's great. Yeah, it looks That's so really good. That's really nice. Yeah, let's let's take a look at some of her paintwork, her terrain work. See, it's all growing around the outskirts, around the trees. Looks nice. Uh, and the but open. That they walk on are you know a bit more like dirt and like little brushes of mm -hmm. dirt, right? I know it's you're crazy. up to something. I know you're up to something. I don't know if he's going to repeat what he did when I was getting the cinematics. I'm just going to fast forward it here because it was freaking amazing. And if not, I'm going to have to show you a video, Zell. And, uh, and I'll, I'll clip the video in so the viewers can see it. See? He ate a lot. Yeah, he ate the whole bin. Come on, little guy. There it goes! Wait, is he doing it? <laughs> He's doing <What>? it! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He's doing it! <laughs> yes! Yes! Isn't Look. everyone screaming? Oh, just wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> he climbed up the thing, <laughs> went through the roof. <laughs> Fl Flossy didn't beta test enough. Oh my god. And there they go, the bear! <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Disqualified. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, you get bonus points for that. That's amazing. Uh, now everyone is going to send in. It's too late. You know, 
Look right. at this guy. <laughs> How is that even possible? Well, he climbed up this. I think that's a climbable piece. Floss overlooked that. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> He's just like, I'm out of here. Climb something. <laughs> Can so, he select that piece? Can we check? Uh, it's amazing. And that's funny because he actually repeated what I did in the Cinemax. Like He's like, yeah, the AI just knew I'm getting out of here. How, how do we check it? Yeah, just type it into the search. Is this it? Yeah. What does it say? Climbable. Climbable. Yeah. <laughs> Flexi climbable. Whoops. Oopsie. That's the one problem. You just you have to check what's climbable and what's not. That's crazy, though. He's just like, I'm out of here. Oh, oh, oh. He's going back He's down. Going back. He's like, okay, I've, had, like I've a, had my fun for the day. You're a koala. <laughs> yeah, right? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so derpy. <laughs> so derpy. But, like, what amazed me most is, like, he gets up to here and he's like, eh. Forget the roof. Just yeah, goes through well, it. Yeah. yeah, it's so funny. <clears throat> uh, absolutely amazing. So you get bonus points for that, Floss. Making us laugh <laughs> here today. Uh, this is this is an incredible enclosure. It has it all. Uh, and if again, if you guys want to download these, the links will be down in the description for all the exhibits. And <clears throat> what you could do, I mean, like, uh, there are some of these you can make fake barriers. And that's it looks like that's what... Oh, nope. She's got a barrier in here. So what you can do is uh, if you disconnect the barrier like edit it just take a chunk out then you should be able to null barrier around the whole thing and it'll mm. it'll just you know null barrier all that and it'll just bring everything that's inside i don't think it'll bring a barrier within a barrier though will it uh, no i don't think so so you have to rebuild it's the barrier pain yeah so you have to delete the barrier and rebuild it when you get into the game if you want to use it but the thing that's interesting here is most of her barrier is actually natural she doesn't even need this because she has rocks and terrain there anyway yeah but it, yeah it needs it to make a so what i suggest in the future for habitat. anyone wanting to upload their like exhibits or habitats um what you could do is like what we do in Planet Coaster with those red guides. Put like red guides everywhere. Like this is where the barrier goes. You know what I mean? Basic shapes. Mm, and then, yeah. then you null barrier the whole thing. And then when you come in, you go, oh, I just got to replace all these red signs with the barrier, right? Yeah. Uh, that's one way of doing it. Uh, other way is to second blueprint everything on the exterior, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, or yeah, it's annoying. So... Uh, three very cool uh, grizzly habitats from three different creators, an advanced, a builder, and a legend. Uh, really good stuff, you guys. What did you guys think of their creations? Leave your comments down below. And uh, there's going to be a poll that pops up in the top right corner right now. You get to vote on your favorite creation, and they'll be uh, they'll all move up the ranks, and then we'll have a, a big vote off in the end for like a top 10 of your favorite creations overall. So very good stuff. And basically with this series, we're just gonna be moving on to different animals now. So we're gonna go through as many animals in the game as possible, seeing as many detailed uh, exhibits and habitats as possible. So you guys can get an idea of how these will fit into your zoo uh, from many different creators. And the one thing we didn't see in this one was the climbing thing. Well, I guess we did see the climbing thing. <laughs> it's the <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> the best one so far. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very fun stuff here today. <clears throat> thank you guys so much for your submissions and your uh, participation. Really good creations. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe for more, more weekly and uh, every other daily Planet Zoo content. <laughs> all right, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye now.